I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Senator Alex Padilla responded Thursday to the leaked Supreme Court opinion that revealed the highest court in the land might strike down federal abortion rights. Padilla said the act of the leak shouldn't serve as a distraction to what the opinion actually says. The California Democrat vowed to, quote, fight to protect a woman's right to choose what happens to her own body. Here's more from Senator Padilla. Recognition, and then we'd like to go to the agenda of the meeting. Go ahead, Senator Padilla. Th th thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I will, uh, three points I want to make, and I will try to be brief. I know we have business uh, on today's agenda to get to. Uh, and like Senator Lee, I didn't come in expecting or prepared to talk about what we're talking about, but I also can't sit silent as I observe a couple of things. Um, yes, we should be alarmed, not just at the leak, but at the substance of the draft opinion. Don't let concerns about a leak from the Supreme Court distract from the threat that the draft opinion that is now public represents. Roe v. Wade has been considered a matter of settled law for nearly 50 years. The vast majority of Americans agree with Roe v. Wade. And so the draft opinion that was unveiled, that it, 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 it turns the potential re, uh, uh, removal of those protections from a potential to an imminent here. And regardless of what your thoughts are on a woman's right to choose, and I support a woman's right to choose, I will fight to protect a woman's right to choose what happens to her own body. Regardless of your thoughts on that matter, the rationale you used in this draft opinion to take back the protections afforded by Roe v. Wade call into question so many other rights and so many other areas of what has been considered settled law, whether it's interracial marriage, access to contraception, or so many other fundamental rights. So it is alarming, colleagues. It is alarming. Don't be distracted on the dynamics of the leak. Don't ignore the significance of the substance of the draft opinion. It's that passion that you see playing out on the steps of the Supreme Court and in cities across the country. That's number one. Number two, Senator Lee just spoke pretty passionately and eloquently. Senator Cornyn spoke earlier about the need to denounce threatening language that is out there now, publicly, through the press, online, targeting Supreme Court justices and their families. I agree. But to what Senator Durbin said a minute ago, threatening language showing up in people's homes, the implicit threat of violence has to be denounced in all its forms. There's members of Congress that have been subjected to that, members of the Senate that have been subjected to that, secretaries of state in recent years, state and local elections, officials that have been subjected to that. If it's wrong when it's targeting Supreme Court justice, it's wrong when it's targeting elections officials and so many other public servants across the land. And if you're going to denounce it, denounce it consistently. And lastly, if we're going there, and clearly we are this morning, we also have to denounce things like conspiracy theories that Democrats are on the verge of expanding the Supreme Court to rush and seat. Recently confirmed Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, soon to be Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson, so that we can protect Roe v. Wade. Stop with the conspiracy, conspiracy theories, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I've received a note from um, several members of the committee that they have to leave in just a few minutes. So I'm going to recognize Senator Cruz after I take this. I think it's going to be a voice vote on the U.S. Attorney for Alaska. The U.S. Attorney nominee considered is S. Lane Tucker for the District of Alaska. I understand we can consider it by voice. Does anyone?